So blind materially means you can't see. Blind spiritually means due to his attachment to his sons, he cannot make the right decision. So this is uh, a major theme in the Bhagavad Gita, that as long as a person has some material attachment, they can't really see things correctly, although they're looking, they see, but they don't see it correctly. And because they can't see things correctly, they don't make the correct uh, decisions. And because they don't make the correct decisions, they end up in uh, getting karmic reactions that put them in trouble and disturb their mind. And usually what they do is blame other people. They never accept personal responsibility. So here you'll see Duryodhan, uh, the son of Dhritarashtra, he was uh, envious of the Pandavas. And because the father is attached to Duryodhan, his son, uh, he was not able to act as the real guardian of the sons of his, of his brother Pandu. And uh, he was too much influenced by Duryodhana. And because of that, it led to disaster where all his sons ended up dead. So all of that because of two things. One, Vitrasa always wanted to be the king. And number two, uh, he wanted his sons to be the rulers of the kingdom rather than the Pandavas. And because of that, it led to the destruction of his whole family. So this is how dangerous even one material attachment is. It's enough to change the entire way one sees things and the way one thinks about things and makes decisions and so forth. So then everything, the entire strategy was how to cheat the Pandavas out of their rightful claim to the kingdom. When they grew up, they had the right to be the kings or the rulers of the kingdom. And uh, so uh, there was always an attempt to kill them. The Duryodhan tried to kill them many times, but they were always saved by uh, Vidura and Krishna. Uh, and then, okay, because they were not able to kill them, then they decided to cheat them. And uh, they cheated. Uh, because the Pandavas were uh, Chatriyas, whenever Chatriya is challenged to uh, the game of dice, uh, they can't say no. And uh, they had two, uh, let's say, games of dice. The first game they lost, but uh, Dhritarashtra canceled the loss. And then Duryodhan convinced his father to call him back a second time. Now, the first time, they knew that they were cheating. And the second time, they knew definitely they were going to be cheated. So why did they go the second time? Knowing very well that they were going to be cheated. To follow me to Dharma. Huh? Because if a king is asking you to come and play, then... You have to do that. Because Yudhishthira want, uh, was thinking, if we don't go, then his... Uh, uh, what's that? will be disrespect to Dhritarashtra and then someone already told before him, okay, if you any mistake happen or anything, this could happen, it will be war and you will be the reason. So, you are thinking this. Yeah, and the, the real reason was that he considered Dhritarashtra the same position as his father. So, uh, his, you know, the other name of Yudhisthira is Dharma Raj. Right? So he, he did not want to violate the principles of Dharma, even though he knew that they were going to cheat. The second time. They cheated the first time, but Dhritarashtra canceled it. Then they call on them a second time, and they know that they're going to lose. But still, Yudhisthira, out of respect for uh, Dhritarashtra, and they were cheated, and it was, it was 
turned out very bad. Uh, but Krishna saved Draupadi uh, only because she completely surrendered to him. And uh, at that point, it became clear that there was going to be a war in the future. They couldn't fight then because they had to go into exile. They lost the, the dice game. And then go into exile for uh, uh, 12 years and then one year incognito. And uh, Bhima, you know, he didn't agree with the whole thing, but out of respect for Yudhisthira, he, he followed. So you see, there's a main major theme here, that is respect for family members, respect for principles of Dharma. Uh, when a person learns to be uh, respectful to other people and especially the principles of Dharma, then uh, even though they go through difficulties, they will always be protected. They will always be protected by Krishna. Now, there's two types of dharma. There's a lower dharma and a higher dharma. The lower dharma is, you know, you are loyal to your family, you're loyal to your country, you're loyal to your employer, you're honest, etc. The higher dharma is uh, you follow Krishna's so, if your employer says, eat meat, but Krishna says, don't eat meat, who do you follow? So, okay. so you might lose your job. You might lose your job. But there's, you know, there's a lower dharma and a higher dharma. So, uh, the Pandavas were following the higher dharma. Ultimately, uh, the whole story of Bhagavad Gita is about the